How's it going you guys? Kyle or Epic here with another tutorial for you all this week on a fun flow movement. No idea what it's called. I'm going to show you guys what it looks like and we'll go through breaking it down. Like so. Now a lot of you guys have seen me do that move in some of my videos, especially my beats and flow, t uh, not tutorial, video. The annotation is on the video somewhere, so check it out if you want to check into that and see some nice flow movements. If there's anything you want tutorial on, let me know. It's a lot of fun, a little awkward to learn. But bear with me, if you focus on understanding the movement and drill it over and over, it'll get easier and easier and easier, I swear. As you're approaching it, you don't want to kind of think about going down and hitting it with your shoulder. It's literally not a hit or a grab or anything, so your, your right hand shouldn't do anything. That first hand that goes in just stays tucked. If anything, bring it to your chest, and you want to go back, not your shoulder or anything like that. And don't focus on resting that hip spot on that beam and leading with this arm while looking over that shoulder so you can see where you plant that hand. When you plant that hand, keep it planted there. Make sure that when you're coming out, you swing your legs, coming into a stand. If you bend that arm, if you let the arm collapse, you're gonna go straight down to your face and that's just not gonna be fun and it won't be the movement. So when you plant that hand, plant it firmly and support yourself and keep that hand planted until those feet come. And then when you plant that first foot, it'll be straight then you lift up your hand and you stand straight up out of it. That way you're not coming in, crashing into the beam or flying off in a different direction. Focus on controlling it. Feel that chest posture. Feel the ground by gripping with your fingertips. Plant that foot nice and firm and stand up tall out of it. Now, there's one thing I want you guys to make sure you get down is the arm placement and shoulder positioning. When you go over, you don't want to go over with your arm down, with your armpit closed. You want to go with your armpit open and your palm facing more upright. That way, as you come out, this motion will help you follow the momentum that way. So as you're coming out, all you gotta do is plant your hand. So by this time, you're here, and that hand just plants nice and easily. Whereas if I come over my, my uh, armpit closed like this, it makes it uh, a little awkward. So the other one flows a little bit easier. When you're doing the intro, it's very important that you make sure you know which way you're going. So if you're turning to your left, you step and the direction that would lead you towards your left. So I think of it this way. If I'm turning my left, I have my left foot forward. So when I step right, that leads me already turning. So I actually go off my right and lift my left leg up first as I lie on it. And when you lie on it, you don't have to think about lying on it perpendicular to it. Think about being parallel, where you actually want to lie down on the beam as if you're going like this. Then just reach that hand over, plant it on the ground, and follow through with your feet. That's a very simple way to do it, but it's very awkward to walk yourself through it slowly because then you're focusing on balancing on your back. And real quick, let me just say that because this revolves on going on your back, if you're kind of bony or certain things like hard surfaces on your back hurt, this may be a little weird for you. So maybe get some basics down before you come to this or find that spot on your back that doesn't hurt. It's only just through trial and error and feeling it. That's all, that's all I can say. Also, try and bring up flexibility. Get acquainted with lying on the beam and focusing on which points of your back hurt worse or less. Remember, if it hurts, you're probably doing it wrong, but you want to rely on not stopping and slowing down. It should all be one continuous movement, not several separate movements. It should all flow nice and easily. And there you have it. That's pretty much the overall movement. Like I said, I have no idea what it's called, so please, tell me what it's called in your area so I know what to throw in the tags and hopefully the title, and you guys can give me a name for it. Progressions, touchdown rise lying on your back and reaching over, getting acquainted with the surface that you're going to be doing this on, whether it's a wall, a brick, or a rail, or if it's a beam in a gymnastics center or a training gym, find out what works better for you. But that's basically how this movement works. So with nothing more to do, here's some slow-mos. Thanks for watching. Take great care, you guys. Please, stay positive.
I'm gonna try and redo that part. I think you say you have your arm locked in place, but uh, I don't know. Hang on. You have to be very nice. Shut up. You shut up. This is what I do with. I can't shoot the toilets now. Let's go home. Shut your mouth. I help you.